Hey Sam, I am going to teach you how to make amazingly delicious cold pressed coffee. This is a recipe that I found a while ago, but I don't really follow recipes very well because I just like to put stuff together. So I just kind of eyeball it. So first, get yourself a French press. Then you're going to need to get coffee. That part's real easy. I will show you. I like to do like half decaf because otherwise I like get the sweats and then if I forget to drink coffee I get a headache and that is the worst. So, coffee. One reason I like to do cold pressed coffee is because it's not as acidic as hot coffee. I also don't have to worry about making it at all because it's already made. I like make it the night before and then it's done. So you do three scoops of coffee. I'm just gonna do two decaf and one regular. Another reason that I like to do cold pressed coffee is because of Kara, my daughter. And I like, like I said, I just like having it already made and ready to go. And then cold coffee just tastes really good. Especially when it's hot outside. All right, boom. Don't forget to put your coffee away, you know. Clean up after yourself. Clean up after other people too. All right, then I just do a tiny bit of sugar, like not a, like not a lot. There's like a little bit in there. It's fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, come with me. Come with me. Okay. Let me go into the spice cabinet. It's a mess in there. I'll let you see it. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. All right. We need fall spices. It doesn't matter if it's not fall. Fall spices. Because it's delicious and it's good for you. So, a little bit of nutmeg. Cinnamon. And ground cloves. That's awesome. Watch this. Watch this. I'm going to carry all this over. I'll meet you back at the coffee. Oh, hey. You're back at the coffee. What's up? Okay. So. Cinnamon. Whenever I use cinnamon in a recipe, I at least double it. I do the same thing for garlic every time. It's just something that I do differently because it's really good. So I forget what the original recipe called for. It's probably something silly like a quarter of a teaspoon. Like why is that even a measurement, right? I just I just go to town because it's cinnamon. Shake it up a little bit. Cloves. Same thing. I mean, not a lot, but just tap some in there. Don't go overboard with cloves or nutmeg. They're really strong, especially nutmeg. So do the most amount of cinnamon, then the least amount of nutmeg. So, boom, there you go. It's already in your French press. And honestly, you don't even need a French press because I used to make cold press coffee at Caribou Coffee when I worked there a long time ago. And we just did it in these giant pitchers and then we would scoop out the grounds with a spoon and then pour it through, I think we poured it through a, a sieve or something. You know what, something, you know, to catch the coffee grounds, so. All right, so put water in here. So now there's water in there. Look at that. Oh, it is. So you can either let it sit and bloom as the coffee people do, or you can do what moms do, which is cut corners and get shit done. I just stir it up, kind of move the knife in different ways because there's coffee pockets in there that are going to not have touched water yet. It's fucking weird. So anyway, you do this part and then you put it in the fridge and then the next morning you can scoop out some of the grounds because there'll be this kind of like, it's almost like a crust on top. And you, so you scoop out some of the grounds and then you French press it like you normally would. You press it all the way down and then you have awesomely delicious coffee that has cinnamon in it and cloves in it and nutmeg in it and it's really tasty and it's not over the top and it makes you feel fancy and it's cheap and spices are good for you so that's my thing that I do and I like that I do it and maybe I'll also teach you something else I don't know thanks for doing this by the way and even if I don't win, I already plan on booking a session with you because I have some chronic stuff that's been happening 
my left hip and I have not been friends for a long time. Same thing with one of my toes. And then, um, I don't know, I feel like there's something that you'd be able to see in me that I'm not. So.